At the start of the 2014 Mini Bash, the Ewan Gilmore Memorial Mini Bash, um, obviously a, a bit of sweet experience for us. We have uh, come along, Mini Bash, all the teams have come together once again, another three days uh, spending up around Northland, enjoying, uh, enjoying a, a piece of Northland and, and really getting out and putting smiles on kids' faces uh, up in Northland. Over here we have the, uh, the GT uh, limo, once again the iconic uh, Ewan Gilmore wagon. We're going to be doing it for you on this weekend. Uh, a lot of people have turned up from around the place specifically to farewell our, our good friend. And uh, we, thought we'd, uh, we, th we thought we'd take his wagon along for the ride. Um, as we move through north and we're going to visit schools, giving away a heck of a lot of stuff over the next few days. Really looking forward to it. So um, me and me mate here, um, a couple of us are obviously dressed a little bit differently than when we normally, normally would. but. Um, my mate here, we're really looking forward to this year, aren't we, aren't we mate? It's a very, very special mini bash, and uh, we're going to have lots of memories this year, and it'll be a lot of fun as well, and he'll want that, of course. Hi Andy, just some comments about you and as we go around to meet the bashers for the beginning of the mini bash. Oh, um, when I did my first bash, Ewan came up and introduced himself to me, and he said he wanted to show me something, and I was so excited, it was Ewan Gilmore. He took me around the corner, he had three fire trucks lined up, they all got me wet. He was the first one to get me wet. Love Ewan. Well, we always found Ewan would be the first in the queue for food, he would be the first to whinge that if it wasn't just perfect, you know, a bit like you, really, but other than that, no, he was just one of those neat guys that was always there, you know, part of the team. And just that's what this is all about, just being a whole good group of mates, having a neat week away or weekend away or whatever. He just was so good for the bash, you know, and uh, just, just everything about him was just wonderful, you know, so yeah, I, I get a bit emotional, so I can't yeah, be talking. Yeah, we all are. Yeah, mate, he was a true Westie, a real Westie, lived out there, just local to us, and a man of my own heart, true Westie, mate. Ewan was the most awesome person. He was kind-hearted, he was funny, um, he was a cheeky little monkey, very cheeky little monkey, and I loved him. He's, uh, did he make a difference in the bash? Yeah, this is a positive interview, and I think he did. Uh, could you try that again? Okay. Uh, no, no, you're a great guy, and uh, probably brought a lot of hilarity to the group uh, and to the public, but uh, man, he can swear like a bastard, can't he? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just think that he's a big, big loss for the for the gang. Occasionally, we just find him on the side of the road because his team had left him behind and to find his own way, and we give him a ride. And um, he's always been there. He was into everything. He's helped. He's either had his own team or he was emceeing, and he just did a hell of a lot for the bash. And we really, really miss him.